Hey guys, it's Marlo back again, and if you know me, you know I'm a huge Stranger Things fan, and I'm so excited to review this product for you guys, and I want to thank the Polaroid Originals team for sending this item out to me. This is none other than the Stranger Things inspired Polaroid 1-Step 2 i-Type camera, again inspired by Stranger Things. And with this camera, you get uh, special film packs that uh, have really cool uh, designs on the prints. There's a little bit of a sample there of uh, what you can uh, expect from the uh, prints. They're randomly packed so you don't know what you're gonna get until you take the photos and print them out or have them printed out. So uh, you can see there an example, not really printed out but you know what I mean. With the Polaroids they are instant so again these are retro. I never really did own one of these. I've seen them. I always thought they were cool. So I'm really happy to finally own a Polaroid camera of my own. So very, very cool. The team sent me a nice welcome letter here and a sample of, uh, you know, one of the prints. And right here you can see this is from uh, the Scoops Ahoy uh, ice cream shop that you will see in season three or we will be seeing in season three coming up soon. And, uh, I don't know, kind of a funny photo there. Route 66, Mr. D's Diner. I don't know if that has anything to do with Stranger Things Season 3, so we will find out. So, again, very, very cool. And as you can see in the background, I have a few other tie-ins already from Baskin Robbins there. We have the uh, Stranger Things Steve in his uh, Scoops Ahoy outfit, as well as some Farland toys. And, um... Yeah, the team also sent that cool poster that you can see back there. And once again, the item in box. So here it is. You can see the design overall is the Polaroid 1-Step 2 camera, but it is flipped upside down as they are normally in this position. But with the design, all the print is upside down, so that's cool. And the color motif is also quite different, being a darker color. It's sort of a dark blue with the red highlights. A uh, view of the camera there on the box. The back of the box there. And uh, let's see, if you want to, you can pause the video at any time to read all of that, as I'm going to move along as quickly as I can. And another print there using the cool Stranger Things pack of film. So again, really curious to see how that's going to turn out. Bottom of the package, in case you want to see any of that information as far as barcodes and uh, other packing information there. Upside down cam, one step two. So let's go ahead and open this up and take a closer look at the camera inside. Again, it's my first Polaroid camera, so I'm quite nervous about using this, so hopefully I do it right and have some fun with this camera. Okay, so I cut away the tape at the sides that were holding the top, so let's open it up. Uh, looks like there's another box inside that houses the camera. So let me see if I can position this nicely. Open that up, and wow, here is the camera itself. Inside the box, you can see some of the other accessories. What is this? Looks like a uh, lanyard of some type, or, you know, the uh, strap. The USB cable. And the instruction booklet there. It's kind of thick. A lot of pages there, different languages. So hopefully that's not going to be too complicated to uh, get through. What is this here? Oh, okay. A nice Polaroid original sticker. So I guess you can use that for, uh, you know, wherever you want. So those are the contents, more or less. You get the camera, instruction manual, the strap and USB cable. Not sure what you use the USB cable for yet. So let me try to read up on this camera before, uh, you know, I try messing with it. But uh, let me see. 
comes sealed up in this plastic so let me get that off too and give you guys a better look at the camera itself and here we have the Polaroid Stranger Things themed one step two camera out of the plastic wrap and you can see it is a really cool camera you can see the Stranger Things logo there at the top and you can see all the other print is upside down uh, you know making the design look like it should be like so so I guess you can display the camera like that which would be kind of interesting Ooh, don't want to break this thing <laughs> so something like that but you can see that at the bottom of the camera itself the there is the uh, spot there for the tripod and uh, some really cool unique uh, instructions down here you can see it says to hold at least 60 centimeters or two feet away from the Demogorgon so that's kind of cool keep the light behind you and always use the flash it kills monsters so that's quite unique and really cool to this camera and you can see there it's property of HNL for the Hawkins uh, I believe it's Hawkins National uh, Laboratory or something like that so once again a really cool touch to this camera as well as the uh, cool dark blue color scheme and the reds throughout you can see there the viewfinder for the camera the on and off button so you slide that down to turn it on and I guess the USB which attaches there that's mainly to charge the battery for uh, you know what I understand the camera has uh, the battery uh, in the camera and I believe in older models of the Polaroids they were in the, the film packs so again, I never did own uh, Polaroids, but I kind of read up a little bit on it, and I think that was the case, so it's a little bit different. And in here, each pack comes with uh, eight uh, pieces of film. So uh, this is the counter there, I guess they're LED, so each time you take a photo, this will uh, count down until uh, all your photo packs are used up, and you have to basically change the uh, pack of film. So that is the camera, a quick look at the instructions, you can see there, inspired once again by Stranger Things, and quick look at the uh, guide there, for you guys like me who are new to Polaroid cameras. So that's more or less it, let me try to load the film pack and get this puppy going. So as far as the film goes, again, you're going to use this color eye type film. Uh, just opened it up here at the side, and you can see it comes in a nice uh, foil pack to prevent uh, light exposure. Because with these, uh, this type of film, uh, you, you want to keep it in the dark more or less. And uh, basically, you don't want to wave the exposed film once you uh, shoot the shot. You don't want to wave it around like a Polaroid picture, like you hear in the... Uh, famous song. You basically want to try to keep it in the dark. So, um, yeah, let me try to open this, pack it up. And, uh, let's see. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to take this off or not. What the heck, let me just take that off. I don't know if that'll hurt. It's just a sticker. And, let's see. It says, your tool keep it cool <laughs> insert film this side up do not remove this dark slide so okay let me give that a shot so from what I understand you slide this over opens up like so and hopefully I'm doing this right you slide it back close it up and I think that's how it goes so what do I do Take that off. Yep, so that was the top cover sheet. So I